I think all three of us have been around sports long enough to know that those type of interactions yeah. happen more often exactly, than not, right? Exactly, Swag. And, and, and for me, what, 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 what you said, Stephen A., is poignant because some people will interpret it that way, and they'll look at it that way. Because I've always thought, like, regardless of your, your star player or whatever, and we've heard these things about how Belichick t uh, treated Tom Brady the same. Even though we in the locker room know it's not the same, it still looks good for a coach to approach certain players that have a cachet on a team with, with, with some reverence or a different level of respect. We get that, but it's important for them, not for, for other teammates, not to see it that way. The one thing you can look at this as is, do you really want Kyler Murray and Cliff Kingsbury to be peers? Like, that came to my mind. It's not what I thought, yeah. but that's what came to my mind. Do you yeah. really want them to be peers where you can, weird like, go at Yeah, like, we don't have, I don't know of any other coach in the NFL with that type of relationship where you could actually have that happen on camera and the head coach don't go crazy can or I, lose it or... Go ahead, go ahead. Can I, say, I need to chime in because it's very important in all seriousness a point that you brought up that I think needs to be addressed. Yeah. No, that's not a dynamic you want unless that's how you got the damn job. Exactly. Cliff Kingsbury mm. exactly. comes over from Texas mm. Tech. You understand? You didn't have the qualifications yeah. to be an NFL head coach. So what you did was you utilized your reputation as this dude that had that kind of special relationship with a quarterback yep. of Kyler Murray's yep. stature. So because of that, you rolled that to bypassing a whole bunch of white and black candidates, I might add, and you got the head coaching job. That's how that happens. Stephen A., I love that you made that point because that's the thing that I thought about. Like, you got to – if you Cliff Kingsbury, and what I texted – y'all know I'm petty on Twitter just like RC. Yes. What I tweeted was <laughs> – what I tweeted Why was I Cliff scared. Because you petty on Twitter. That's just what it boiled down to. I love this but LSU I call, fighting. I, LSU I said, fight like this. RC, yeah. what I said is Cliff scared. And everybody thought I was talking about Cliff scared of Kyler Murray. No. Cliff scared to go over that line. That, and, and knowing that yeah. Kyler Murray is going to be there longer than he's going to be there based on True. where his team is right now. So it's, it's, it's two ways to look at it. What I believe and being in the league and playing and RC and Stephen A., you covering it for so long and Molly being around it, what I believe is you got to determine within those walls if this is healthy for you individually yeah. mm -hmm. as a football team and your relationship. It's hard to interpret. Like, I, y'all know, I, I be wanting to get on TV and flame people when I think they done done something out of the ordinary. I really believe this was healthy for the Arizona Cardinals. I lay I in agree. the same vein too. as RC. The one thing I would caution, though, is that Cliff, Kings, Cliff Kingsbury and the Arizona Cardinals got to be careful about where that line is, especially when it comes to public consumption. Because last night, it looked like a quarterback that was like, Coach, you ain't, you, you ain't important here, bro. Let me handle my business. That's what it looks like to some people. Now, to us that's been around it, it looked like two competitors disagreeing on the situation in the game and then coming out and eventually being better. That's the only thing that I want to put out there. When you see a quarterback coming back to the sideline, telling his coach to calm the F down and telling him – and being in his face – like that, you got to really think about where is where is that line of respect or is this their relationship based off what you just said, Stephen A., because Cliff Kingsbury knows that my success is tied directly to Kyler Murray's success. And if I go in the front office and say something, as opposed to Kyler Murray going in the front office and say something, what he's saying going to hold 189 pounds worth of weight if you catch my drift. Mm -hmm. 189 mil is what he got guaranteed. The, the way. The the, the other thing is this, though, y'all. Like, I, as much as we, we want to talk about Cliff Kingsbury, how he got the job or whatever, you also have to think about any man in that position. Cliff Kingsbury is a former player as well. You have ego, yep. right? And, 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 and a lot of these guys are tough guys. Cliff Kingsbury did the right thing. Cliff Kingsbury he calmed down. He didn't, he didn't escalate the situation. He didn't make it worse by getting back in Kyler's face or getting into Kyler's face and making this altercation even bigger than it looked outside of Kyler Murray's one soundbite or two soundbites with him screaming at Cliff Kingsbury. This was the way it was supposed to be handled. And I got a saying, and Marcus knows this 100%, I'm with you when you're right, and if you're my people, I'm with you when you're wrong in public. 
This is a conversation that they can have <laughs> privately, right? They can have privately, and they yep. can say, hey, and Cliff can, Cliff can say, hey, what you did isn't cool, but I got it. I understand I it. it. Going yeah. forward, we're not going to have that no more. But for that night, it was okay. We moved through it, but that's the last time that's going to happen. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Great conversation. RC, appreciate you. Have a fabulous weekend. We will see you here you in Seaport on Monday. Where, see you where, later. Where you Swaggoo, I'm, about to, I'm coming to campus right now. I'll see you in a second. Well, well come on, man. Aww. Bring something. This is so cute. Away. You no, two Roman campus <laughs> like the I'm, good I'm old jealous. days. I'm just, the brothers never invited me down there. I mean, you know, I mean, they still don't be act my like boys. that. They ain't don't even invite like me down there. We, we have, you, you we have a no hater you, policy on campus. Oh. Absolutely. No you hater policy. You, the gate is locked, so really? I'm invited. Really? Maybe that's why y'all yeah. ain't won the last couple. Molly can come. I'm just Thank saying. you. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.